Uh, we're actually going to try to start up the Jeep with uh, this uh, same device. And here you see I replaced, this is about three hours after the last video, I replaced uh, uh, several of the components underneath the, the uh, hemisphere. You see I have heavy cables now coming out of the device. You see how it's, uh, it is not connected to the battery, the regular battery of the car. It's connected. By the way, this line doesn't go any anything. It's just there. It just it helps connect the positive to the positive and negative to negative. Hopefully this will start. I think it will because I know this thing is capable of producing large amperage for short periods of time without burning anything. Well, it may burn something up, but it could be built to produce large amperage indefinitely if you wanted it to. You can either have lots of amps, lots of volts, or both with this thing. Uh, you see this is disconnected now, uh, it should be ready to start, hopefully the vibration, hopefully it starts, we'll see what happens here. Okay, I'm going to go start it, there's nobody else out here messing with anything. Here in the car, lights are on, start it up, as you know that takes hundreds of amps to start a car. Well, at least 100. No, well, probably more like 200. Okay. Now, just to prove that that's for real, we'll disconnect a couple things here. And uh, we'll see that it, uh, it won't start after I disconnect these things. I took the hot wire loose. This is the hot. That's the hot. We took it loose. The negative still connected, but all you need is one not connected and it won't. Obviously it won't. Well, it could, based on uh, what I showed you with the hoop. But this circuit's not uh, not going to be able to carry that much amperage through the air. Um, anyway, we, it won't start now, watch. See, no lights on the dash or anything. The keys all the way over. No lights on the dash. So just to tell you, there's all kinds of possibilities here. You could literally run an electric car with these things. That's about it. Nobody else around here. Just so you know. Okay, over now. Hopefully, all this came out okay. Because I don't really want to. Hopefully, I didn't damage anything either on that. A lot of amperage for those components. I don't know if they can all handle that, but we'll see. It might be worth it for the demonstration.